Zubers. It's Gord. This one's for the kids. So, uh, Merry Christmas. A, a little background to this is every year since my kids were young, I've read Twas the Night Before Christmas. As my grandkids moved out of my house, I started reading it on the on the phone to them as they grew up. Now, I figure why not put it on YouTube? Let my more grown-up grandchildren hear the story again. As I will read it to Pasha tomorrow night. I love the story. So, here we are. And yeah, I dressed up for it. <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even the mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children, they were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Mama in her kerchief, I in my cap, had just settled down to our long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what's the matter. And away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutter, threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow had gave a luster of midday to the objects below. When what to these wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively, so quick, I knew in a moment this must be St. Nick. W more rapid than eagles their coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. On the now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up to the house, top the coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in the twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes, they were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. And the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his, oh, sorry, and the droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held in his teeth in the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. And he had a broad face and a round, round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all his stockings and turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the dawn of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. May this Christmas find you. And you find it wonderful.